because I have great stories for you. Uh, but anyway, um, I, 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 I don't know if you can tell everything, but um, I mean, really? It was high school. It was high school, yeah. It was high school. And also, there, we, there was a, um, our, this is, our, this is three-fifths of our posse. And we called, we just thought we were all that. And we, but we were nice too. <laughs> And, and so we, we had, we were the big five, and so we, we was alphabetical, so there's big one right here. Anyway, so we're in alphabetical, June was big five. And so we just absolutely had way more fun, way much more fun than anybody should have had in high school, honest to gosh. And, and we all, however, I will say, we all had, we really did all have good grades, and um, we just... We just loved June so much, yeah. and there are a couple of um, a couple of incidents I remember. I I'll tell. I'll tell. I'll tell. I'll tell. I'll tell. Because it was too funny. So one, it was after <laughs> it was on a Friday night, <laughs> and we were going to go out to the game, and we were um, on our way, and then we so we went up to the. <laughs> June, June was so brave. She was the one who made us do everything. And so, really, and yet we never, it was not, we didn't do bad things, but we, she, we were just like almost bad things. And so, and so we were, we went to, uh, we were on the corner, of, there was a, um, a, a liquor store on the corner. Across and, the street from the Across the street from the high school. So here we are, and we're in our uniforms, hello. And so we we just and so June said to this man who walked over, he she goes, "Hey, Mister, we're thirsty." And so really, and so and so anyway, you would know what happened. So yeah, he helped us out there. But um, but the funny thing, she was like pretty brave. Don't you agree? Yeah, she was pretty brave. None of us would do. No, we were all chicken to do it, not June. No, no, no. June, June stepped right up. She stepped right up. But also, we just um, we had so much fun, and in all the all of the um, games that we had, June was one of the hardest workers of, the, of everybody, and she made sure her her she was a song leader. So was Gail. Elaine and I, Elaine and I were flag pullers. But June, it was like, who could kick the highest, right? And so June, absolutely. I think June went or didn't oh, Leslie? Anyway, so, but June, but it was. me. <laughs> but anyway, it was just so, and everybody, it was just truly, it was the, um, it was the, it was days of such love. Yeah. And such. Fun. And fun. fun. And we did, you know, the pep rallies we did together and. It was just, and June, honest to gosh, June Wilson was kind to every single yes. person on this planet. Yes. 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 Every single person on this planet. And she was truly a, um, something to, to look up to. She, she really was truly kind. Everybody loved her because she was so kind. And funny. God, she was funny. She had such a great sense of humor. She always told me the story about when she lived in Long Beach. You can verify this, okay, Jerry? Um, she said that her grandmother would always say to June uh, when they would meet at Grandma's house, and then they would go to, to the Pike, which is a big uh, part, a movie park from down there, and she would say, and she didn't imitate her grandmother saying, and here's a dime for the pike. <laughs> and so, and so she would, you know, she would always tell. So I, I met your family kind of through that too. And and, and nobody know, nobody backs me up on this, but we went to see your dad. Did you go? Yeah. Okay. So we went to see your dad play the piano, and I just thought I was all that. I mean, I really did. Because did you go? Did you 
Yeah. You said I, I did, know. but I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> no, I do remember. I remember being because you did more like a tuxedo or something like that when you Yeah. Yeah. So good and yeah. so kind to us. Yeah. We yeah. went on a field trip one night to go up to Gazaris to see her dance. That was so out of our comfort zone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it so was. It so was. To watch her dance. And she yeah. was fabulous. Oh yeah. It was really wonderful to see her at our reunions too in the last few years. Um, the 40th and the 50th, I'll say it. I know you can't um, believe that, right? <laughs> Nobody here can believe that. Yeah. Okay. And um, as we all know, June was ever joyful and ever positive and confident and uh, just, just, like I said, so joyful, so positive, and so happy. And and uh, I know that she had rough times. We knew her rough times. We saw her rough times in the paper. And our high school really responded to that uh, significantly uh, to, and, help and to help her. And she was, she was, it was just great. That was our grand reconnection. Mm -hmm. So, you know. And, and then one, one time when we were seniors, I guess when we were seniors, I, is this okay to say? It's about her first boyfriend. Is that okay to say, Annie? Of course. Okay. Of course. Okay. So anyway, uh, we were um, we were all, it was this young, this beautiful man here on the right. Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Okay. He's going to get up and say something, even if he is is nervous. Okay. Right. He has to. Anyway, he, he really was June's. She, okay, the first the first night that it was going to be like official that Jeff was going to like her, um, she, well, we were all having a summer party, and she couldn't even go to sleep. She could do nothing. She just was, it was just so in love, and it was so, it was pretty exciting. And no wonder. But, um, but anyway, so, um, yeah, so that, I remember that night vividly. It was over at Lee Center's house. Do you remember that? What well, do you do? I think okay. so. You ready to come up? And talk yeah, so I think this yeah. is a good time yeah. for you. Yes, Anyways, yeah. thank you, everybody. Yeah. That was a wonderful way to represent yeah. ladies. You were the lucky guy. I was the lucky guy. I was the um, graduated b b the year before June. But I don't know how we got together, but somehow, after high school, I was introduced to June. Uh, through, I'm sure somebody through the pep squad, I'm sure from that. Uh, and we were in Idaho for a, a couple of years. And in that couple of years, we thought we were the ones, so we were actually engaged to be married, you and I. And then we started going into the clubs in Hollywood. And of course, that's how the, the separation happened. And I'm sure she went her way. And then, of course, I had to go my way. But it was. Um, Looking back, she was a she was quite a unique woman, and she's always stuck in my mind. Uh, the last time I got in touch touch with her was through the newspaper, very similar. I opened the L.A. Times about 15 years ago, and there was this picture of June, which I hadn't seen since 1965, and my eyes just opened wide. I, I could not believe what was going on. Next thing I knew, Sam Sam's calling me and saying, Sam, just June's been asking for you. And so I said, okay, Sam, let's, let's see what's going on here. And I'm just so thankful that the week before she passed, Sam called me and he said, she thought we're gonna last. I got out of my car and I drove all the way down to Hollywood from South Orange County and I was able to there be with her a week before she passed. Mm -hmm. And I'm thankful for the wife I have that allowed me to pay yeah. my respects to just the right. exciting young right. lady. Thank you. Absolutely. Well done. Well, well, done. 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 Well, and when I first met Jeff, I was only 17. I knew that June was his first love, that they were engaged. And I wear the diamond that he gave to June in this necklace. Nice. Oh. Yeah. And 
I don't hold grudges. I wish mm -hmm. I would have been his first love, and I wish that she would have chosen him. In a funny way, I wish that. I wouldn't have him if she did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know, I think the greatest gift we can give to each other is forgiveness and admiration and um, tolerance. Yes. And she had a tough life. Jeff told me a little bit about it. And she had a really tough life. And not all of us are lucky to start off in a really easy nest where the mom and the dad love each other and they adore you and they bring you up in the, in the way that you're celebrated every day. Very few of us get that opportunity. And June was one who didn't get that opportunity. And I would have liked for her to have had the chance to love someone like Jeff and, and uh, learn a lot from him as I did. Because my childhood was trouble too, but you know what? Um, I'll never let go of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's a first. <laughs> I think it is probably a first. I, I, think, I think it is, but it should be done more often. And, um...